every golfer dreams of making a hole in one. It's the very pinnacle of golf, the best feeling there could be. But at odds of over 12,500 to one, there's a good chance that some golfers will never get to experience that feeling. Now I don't know about you, but I don't like those odds, so let's turn them in our favour. We have gathered 70 golfers and we are giving them their best ever chance at that hole in one. But that's not all, this is ASSL's first ever sold out golf event. Let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those that are returning viewers, hello, we are back and hopefully we're back with a bang. And if you're new here, my name's Aaron, I'm a three handicap golfer on a good day. Many call me the bear, but a lot of you call me questionable at golf, and rightfully so. Here at ASSL Golf, we like to think we are the home of relatable golf entertainment, and hopefully that's what we've got for you today. We alluded to it at the start of this video, but I am delighted to say that ASSL Golf is here before you today, saying we have sold out our first ever golf event. But at the start of the video, we also promised to slash the odds of a hole in one. So how exactly have we done that? I'm gonna need you to think back towards the Masters, more specifically, the Masters par three event. This pre-tournament tradition is now famous for its big moments and of course, hole in ones. Whether that be Jack Nicholas's grandson holing out on the last hole or Tony Finau's infamous ankle celebration, this tournament has become absolutely packed with moments to remember. And that got me thinking, why can't we do that? The answer? We absolutely can. We have created our first ever golf event. This is the SSL Murray Masters Par 3 competition. Yes, that's right. We've created a never seen before completely unique Par 3 layout. 10 holes, 10 great chances for birdies here at Murray Golf Club. And that is what's going to give our field their best ever chance at making a hole in one. But do not be fooled, this course is tough. We've got plenty of on course challenges and prizes for the competitors to take part in. And we've got entertainment in the clubhouse from 8 till late. So hopefully, this one's a fun one. A huge thank you to all of the sponsors that helped us to make this video come true. And in particular, to everyone at Murray Golf Club, John, Derek, and the staff. If you're looking forward to this one, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. And now let's skip forward to just before the action. Right, it's nine o'clock. I'm back here in Lossy Mouth the night before the event, and I'm not gonna lie, I am currently sitting at my desk back home thinking I have definitely forgotten something for this event. We've got prizes, we've got rule sheets, we've got t sheets, we've got scorecards on my way out tomorrow morning with the greenkeepers at 7 a.m. to set up the course. It really should be a fun evening, but like I say, I am just so nervous that this has some vital piece of information missing. I'm sure we'll find out tomorrow. An early start needed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's very light outside, but I can assure you it's nice and early in the morning. And it's the day of the event. And I've come down here to the greenkeeping sheds to get the course set up and ready to go. And we've got a couple of familiar faces here with us today. And in this time lapse, it may well look like I am doing nothing. And that may well be true. But let me assure you, this course took work to set up. But with the help of some familiar faces, some friends of the channel, we got the course set up and ready to go. And that is our set up for the day. Shawnee Geddes, if you want to put that pin into the final hole. All that's left to do now is get up to the clubhouse and start the event. And with the very kind help of some more familiar faces, the event was officially lights out and away we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am down here on the first tee with the Beagle, who's officially going to start us off with the ASSL golf event. Tell me the nerves kicking in just now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a big event like this after winning the Masters last week. It's hard going. You've just <laughs> smashed me in the foot with your golf club. But here, we'll, we'll move yeah, I'll smash you with the ball as well. Just look good. A man born for the big occasions. The first tee shot on the first hole. Oh, it's, it's absolutely enormous. Oh, phenomenal. Like Green finder. That's, that, boys. That's talent. And with the competition now in full flow, Sam had got off to an absolutely flying start. And Sam, not so much. All of the pins out there on the course were being well and truly attacked at our closest to the pin holes. And Sam took no time at all to capitalise on the greens. Oh yes. But our feature challenge of the day came from the guys at reusegolfballs.com on the sixth hole. Both Michael and Andy driving up from air for the day to challenge our field to a closest to pin match for some of their product. <laughs> 
And after some shots like that, it was starting to look like it could be an expensive day, especially when our members were getting luck like this. Whoa, it's <laughs> and that would make now a great time to tell you a little bit more about reusegolfballs.com. Like me, are you sick and tired of spending your hard-earned cash on these expensive little things only to put them straight in there? Well, we can't help you with losing them, but we hopefully can help you with buying them. ReuseGolfBalls.com offer you the chance to buy the biggest brands in golf at just a fraction of the price. Whether that be Titleist, TaylorMade or any other major brands, they've got the lot. ReuseGolfBalls.com can offer you an affordable way to restock your golf bag at a fraction of the price from RRP. Whether it be a mint condition, barely been touched, or grade B, perfect for practice, you can choose exactly what quality you're after. But wait, there is more. You can get yourself an extra discount on top of this great value using code ASSL10 at checkout. 10% off of every single order for the rest of your days. What else could you ask for? But we're not done yet. To celebrate this exciting new channel partnership with ReuseGolfBoss.com, we are giving you, the viewer, your chance to win three month supply of Titleist Pro V1s from their golf range, and also 30 pounds of an additional voucher to spend online. To win this prize, all you have to do is head over to our Instagram. The link is in our description. Follow all the instructions on the giveaway post. It's as easy as that. Make sure you get involved and win yourself some Pro Vs. Now let's get back to the action. That is all our groups officially off. We are away out me and the golf buggy to go and do some challenges with folk on the course. And off we went onto the course with the golf buggy to find some groups to challenge. And the idea was very simple. Right, so the concept is very simple. Five pound on the table. If I lose, then we'll double it and we'll give it to the next person as long as they agree. But there was one oversight for myself in this challenge. And it was the fact that I would have to beat the contestants. Sorry, and couple that with the fact that we were hearing a lot of this. I'll easily double it. Double it. We'll double it. I'll double it. And just like that, our contestants were playing for a healthy cash pot. Right, I have joined up with one of the feature groups, one of the major players at Murray Golf Club, Stuart Tatters himself. Welcome to the channel. Long overdue, many Long would say. overdue. And with good money on the line, all this plus three golfer has to do is beat me a cabbage. I really challenged the wrong person here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's been worth the wait oh, all those years. He mom. was so worried, but he's, <laughs> he's produced a bit of quality there. Uh, shockingly, the plus three golfer has hit the green. All I have to do is, is beat him. But cometh the hour, cometh the man. Oh, there's a bit of local knowledge there. Wow, it's truly an honour to be such a great... And after saving ourselves from a lot of cash coming out of those shallow pockets, the pins were starting to be peppered from all angles. But fortunately, these greens, lightning quick and tricky pins, were proving to be a tough test for every level of you golfer. You call yourself a plus four golfer? Many would try for birdies, and many would fail. Even the professionals were struggling with these pins. Oh, you walked that so early. <laughs> and just like that, the event had come to an end. The final groups are in. The scores have been vigorously counted by Michael Baber. And now it's time to produce the winners of this evening. Um, firstly, a couple of thank yous just to everyone that's been uh, part of the event. So I'd like to thank all the sponsors that provided all the prizes you can see today. Kenny Octolones has been very generous, so thank you very much. Our net winner on the evening was Neil Edwards with an impressive two under net score. Our closest to the pin winners are displayed on the screen despite one of them making a three somehow. But now it's time for the one we've all been waiting for. And our winner who's been sitting primed ready for this round two <laughs> hours now. I'm sure it'll come as no shock to anyone. Our winner is Matty Wilson. <laughs> Massive congratulations goes to Matty Wilson who would win our gross section 3 under par, 27 on the day. Not only would he take home a 4 ball at Fairmont St Andrews and a lunch for two at Russex, but he would take home this one of a kind Murray Golf Club green jacket and does not look good on him. That brings us to the end of this video unfortunately, but to outro this we're going to try and get that final hole in one ourselves. Just before we hit the shot, I want to say a massive thank you to all the members, all the visitors, the Murray Golf Club itself, all the sponsors, this event really wouldn't have happened without you. And I can tell you that we might not have had a hole in one in the event, but it has been seen as a resounding success, which means we have the green light to do more events. Comment down below if you'd be interested in getting involved. 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Why not go watch some other videos that we've done before and let's see if we can get a hole in one to finish. We'll see you in the next one. What's my chance? 10 feet. Easy game this golf.